This paper shows the, I guess, the, the ability of early uh, embryonic uh, stem cells that actually reside in early embryos, the ability actually to, to develop and form a whole organism. We take a stem cell from one embryo and we put it uh, inside of the other embryo. So this transplanted cell will develop together with this host embryo and the animal born after this procedure is called uh, chimera. So basically we'll have uh, um, tissues coming from two different embryos of stem cells. Studies like that haven't been done in primates and higher organisms like monkeys. And we did it in a monkey because we wanted to understand uh, uh, whether stem cells that we have from human embryos will have actually potential, especially for a regenerative medicine, whether it can develop into mature and functional tissues and organs. And at least in the monkey model, those cultured stem cells that we cultured in petri dish for months and years, unfortunately didn't produce any functional tissues or organs. They did not contribute. Where the counterparts that, that freshly in, in the embryo, they produced actually whole fetuses. So that shows that um, there is a big difference between stem cells that we culture in our incubator and spittery dishes versus those that they, they gave rise to the stem cells. So our study shows that actually the, um, the stem cells that we culture in the petri dishes uh, um, may not be as potent as we thought uh, and it's possibly that we need to, to develop better techniques of maintaining these cells so they will be just like original so they maintain all this potential.